In this lecture, we are going to develop a real-time tic-tac-toe application uh, using basic features of AppLab on Code.org. So whatever features are available to us, whatever blocks are available in AppLab, we are going to make use of the same in order to develop this real-time tic-tac-toe application or you can say tic-tac-toe game. Fine, so the first thing is, uh, this is the first screen the user is going to come across. Now, if suppose uh, the user is an admin and if, if he want to access the admin panel, what he can do? He can directly click on this first screen ah. and this is the beautiful screen he is going to come across. So this is the admins panel. Fine. Now, as you can see uh, here, this player 1 and player 2 is uh, coming written, right? Why? Because player 1 and player 2 have not yet signed in. So what we are going to do, we are going to use this uh, second browser uh, for signing in as player 1 and this third browser or you can say this third device we are going to use uh, for signing in as player 2. So here I need to enter a name first. Let me enter this name. Okay, and here I need to enter a password. So let's select this one for now. And when this player will hit this login button, so this is the screen he's going to come across. Similarly, I will enter a name over here and a password over here for this field. Okay, so this is the screen this uh, player 2 is going to come across now player 1 need to click on this player 1 image and player 2 has to click on this player 2 image and as you can see in real time you know in real time see the changes we are able to see there is no recipient button I have defined uh, on these panels okay so as you can see the names have got changed Earlier it was player 1 which was getting reflected over here. Now it is name of the player 1 which is now getting reflected over here. Similarly, we can see the same changes over here also. And on both the panels we are able to see uh, the names of both the players, right? At present, uh, you know, uh, there is nothing here in the score part. So let's now see how can we play the game. How can uh, these players... Uh, play this tic-tac-toe game live and how can this admin person uh, give them the score based on their input fine so uh, Anubhav if suppose if he will click uh, on this at this point thanks for your input Mr. Anubhav it's now player 2's chance so see on real time you are able to we are able to fetch the input of Anubhav on all these three panels right and in real time it is happening remember this thing now it is Gaurav's chance uh, so if he will click here what is going to happen thanks Let's for your out. input Mr. Gaurav it's now player one's chance so see for Gaurav it is zero and Anubhav for Anubhav cross is coming now it is Anubhav's chance so if Anubhav here thanks let's for your see input Mr. Anubhav it's now player two's chance okay uh, it's uh, Gaurav's chance now. Let's. Uh... Thanks for your input, Mr. Gaurav. It's now player one's chance. Okay, now it's Anubhav's uh, chance. So let's click here. Thanks for your input, Mr. Anubhav. It's now player two's chance. So as you can see, Anubhav has completed this part. So, so as you can see, Anubhav has won. Now, how the admin is going to give them the score let's check it out so admin can enter the score over here so it is one for Anubhav and zero for Gaurav and now let's see what is going to happen when the admin will hit this button so as you can see the their respective scores are getting reflected on both the panels fine the the score which admin person has given to them uh, they are getting reflected on both these panels Anubhav score is 1 and Gaurav score is 0 and the game is also resetted by this admin 
Okay, so now let's play this game one more time and it's Anubhav's chance first. So let's see what how, where he's going to click. So if suppose Anubhav uh, clicks here, let's see what's going to happen. Thanks for your input, Mr. Anubhavitz. Now player two's chance. Okay, it is player two's chance now. So let's uh, click at this point. Thanks for your input, Mr. Gorovitz. Now player one's chance. Great, it's players one, player one's chance now. Let's. Uh, Thanks for your here. input, Mr. Anubhavitz. Now player two's chance. Great, uh, it is working perfectly fine, I think. Let's put Thanks for here. your input, Mr. Gorovitz. Now player one's chance. Okay, it's now player one's chance. That is Anubhav's chance. So let's uh, click at this. Point. Thanks for your input, Mr. Anubhavitz. Now player two's chance. Let's play two shots now, and I'm going to click uh, this. Thanks point. for your input, Mr. Gorovitz. Now, player one's chance. Okay, so I so it's uh, Gorov who has won this game now. So let's see how the admin person can give the score to uh, Gorov and Anubhav. So it is still one for Anubhav and two for Gorov. It's not two, one for Gorov. Let's see what's gonna happen when the admin will hit this reset button. So as you can see, the scores are now leveled and they are getting reflected on both the devices. This is a device which player one is using and this is the one which player two is using. Okay. So let's now check out the coding part. How can we code this beautiful tic-tac-toe game in AppLab on code.org using the basic features of AppLab. So this is the first screen. The user is going to come across. Where is that? Yeah, this is the one. So there is a button which I have placed over here. The name of this button is login. When the user after entering his name over here will hit this login button automatically, he's going to get redirected on this beautiful player one player two screen uh, that is screen three okay now there are two image buttons i have placed over here one with name image one with name one and the second with name two so when the user will hit this one uh, button okay so this is what is going to happen so a table with name player one is going to get created and in the same this name and image is going to get saved so it's a cross for player one and it's a zero for player two okay it's a zero for player two <coughs> so this is what is going to happen when the user will hit this uh, image button with id2 okay this is the code which will get executed fine uh, now let's come on this part so there is an on record event I have made use of. So when the when this event is going to take place automatically, this is the whole code which is going to get executed. So the name of the player is going to get reflected over here. Okay, player. What uh, the the name of this label box is label one. So here I will see the records which are going to get pulled up from this uh, table player one and uh, this is the name of the column i have made use of similarly the user will be able to see the player one's name on this uh, player two's panel also okay the same code i have defined for player two's on record event also okay so here the records are going to get pulled up from this player two's table fine and then i have made use of a variable that is x and what will happen when the player will hit this uh, you know image button there are nine image buttons which i have placed over here in order to make it a real time application so when the player will hit this uh, image button with id 1 so the value of x uh, will become 1 and this is the code which is going to get executed so a table with name x value is going to get created on the data browser connected to this app 
this is the uh, speech the user will be able to hear okay and then again an on record event is going to get fired automatically for this x value table and this is what uh, you know this is the these are the lines of codes which are going to get executed fine and we will be able to see the cross image which is there stored on the uh, you know data browser of this app over here uh, on this image button as well as on this image button okay which i have placed on this player 2's panel and also on this image button which i have placed on this admin span fine the same code i have defined for this uh, image button with id2 okay say yes. the code is same for every uh, you know image button which i have placed over here on this player one span okay so the uh, name of the table is also same and these codes are also same which i have defined inside the if loop these are also same okay the only changes uh, which you are required to make is in the names of these uh, you know image buttons so here it is image 3 and then for player 2 it should be 3 1 as you can see over here and then for this admin it is 3 1 1 okay so this is what you have to change rest everything is same so this is a code which will get executed when the player will hit this on uh, sorry image button 4 uh, this is the whole code which will get executed automatically okay then uh, this is going to get executed when the player will hit this image button 5 where is that yeah image button 5 okay and this is the code which will get executed when the player will hit this image button 6 and on record event is for uh, seeing the changes happening in real time <coughs> then uh, it is id 7 of this button and when the player will hit this button these are the lines of code which are going to get executed and this is also the same as that of the these previous images button fine and for this uh, 8 also it is same and for this image button 9 it is also very much same okay now let's come on uh, this player 2's panels coding so again there are 9 image buttons which I have placed over here and the way I have defined the code for the buttons which I have got on this player 1 screen in the same way I have defined the code for the buttons which I have got on this player 2's screen also so when the player will hit this uh, image button 11 this is the code which is going to get executed again the changes are going to take place in this uh, table named x value okay and this is the code which will automatically get executed when this event type is going to take place uh, for this x value table fine again for this button 2 1 i have defined the same code okay so for all the image buttons whether it is 3 1 or whether it is 4 1 or it is uh, you know 5 1 which i've placed over here or whether it is uh, 6 1 which i have placed over here and then it is 7 1 okay which i have placed over here then it is uh, image button 8 1 which i have placed over here then it is uh, image button 9 1 which i have placed over here so the code for every single button is same okay so that's how i have designed this beautiful uh, tic tac toe game now let's come on this coding of this admin panel now here when the user after entering his score their scores in these two 
text boxes when he will hit this send button this is a code which is going to get executed so there are two tables which will get created one is with name result and the second is with name recent fine so uh, in the in this result player 1 score is going to get saved in this player 2 uh, player 2's label box player 2's score is going to get saved fine and in this reset button the image this background image is going to get saved so finally what is what we will see we will see everything coming back to its initial position okay uh, all the crosses and all the zeros which will which were getting reflected will now go disappear and again the screen all the screens are going to look like the way they were looking initially okay and then it is uh, yeah this is a code which is going to get executed uh, when this event type res uh, create is going to take place uh, for this uh, table named reset and everything is going to uh, re going to get resetted through these lines of code which i have defined over here okay so that's how you can also develop uh, this beautiful tic tac toe game yourself using this beautiful code i have explained to you okay and in case you want to avail the coding classes facility you guys are most welcome to ask your parents to contact me on my respective phone number that is 9891665634 and you guys can also be a part of my rupees 500 per month coding classes the new batches are going to start from 15th of this uh, january 2021 if you want to avail the facility of coding classes please uh, do contact me on my phone number hope to see you soon in the online classes and please do like and subscribe to my channel and also keep sharing the link of the videos of my channel in your groups so that more and more students can come and join my channel and enjoy these free online coding classes which i am providing on my youtube channel thank you very much for your support have a great day bye bye